wasn't quite sure when my new desk was going to show up for the studio. Just heard a knock at the door. We're going to go up there and see if it's here. In the meantime, I finally gave up and I haven't been waiting that long. I just didn't know when it was going to show up. I got out this poster board and a box. And that's what I've been getting ready to use for pictures and such, which would work. But I think this desk will be a lot better. Let me go get it. It's not too bad, but a little bit on the heavy side. All right, I'll come back when I have all the pieces and I'll get this out of the way. All right, it looks like we have all the different pieces now. Time to unbox them and figure out what I'm gonna do next. So they sent me as a free gift, it's a monitor stand, which is really nice, except I'm using this as a unboxing and show off table. So thanks FlexiSpot for the free gift. I'm not sure I'm gonna use this though. All right, time to read the instructions really quick. Since I got this, I've been using it, so let me talk about it now after I've had some time with it, and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see everything. The table had a number of smudges on it. I worked and worked just using water and a paper towel, but they didn't seem to come off, and I got a little bit concerned. My wife suggested using Norwex paste, which actually worked really well. So using that and a cloth ended up getting those smudges off, so I'd suggest picking up some Norwex paste if you need to get those smudges off. So the first thing I want to talk about is stability. This is the level I use it at. It's about 37, 38 inches, and this is a really good height. It's basically where my elbows naturally land. The stability has not bothered me one bit as far as doing photography or anything like that. And if I kind of rock it back and forth, it's really not too bad. And if I kind of go side to side, it is rock steady side to side. There's just a little bit back and forth. If you look at the carpet that we have here, there is a lot of padding underneath. So some of that's due to that, and some of it could be due to just the design of it, but it really hasn't bothered me whatsoever. If I go all the way up to the top, which if you would have asked me before, I'd say I would have never used, and this thing gets crazy high. We're at 49.2 inches. I thought I'd never use this, it does get very wobbly up here. You can even feel a definite wobble in it and side to side, just a little bit. Anyways, I thought I wouldn't use it at this height, but it is really convenient if I'm using my Ronin and taking videos of products that I don't have to bend over and get them. So usually I'm on the other side, but I'll take my Ronin and go right along here and get these low shots that give me a nice reflection with the lights in the background and I can just walk basically at a natural height here and just move this across, which is really nice to have and handy. So if I go down to what I have programmed as the sitting position, and I can program three settings in here, super easy to program. It goes down to a sitting position, which is about 30 inches. This is rock solid, really not a lot of movement at all. And then if I go all the way down to the bottom setting, which is 24 inches, what's cool about this is at my normal zoom level that I have, and usually I have it tilted up a little bit more, you can't see this at all. So if I want to move the table out of the way and just sit things here, I can do that. Talk here just like normal. You wouldn't even think I have a table in front of me. And then if I want it, I just hit the setting and it comes back up very nicely. I'm sure there's some cool cinematic things I could do with this with the product coming up as I'm talking. Just so you know, in the description below, I'm gonna put all the details and a link to this desk if you wanna get one for yourself. And now I'm gonna walk you through the decision process that I used to purchase this. 
I had a couple requirements that drove me to this particular desk right here. Number one, a white top. I wanted a white top with this setup for my photography. Just everything I do, I like the white top and I can always put something else over it, but that's my basis. So starting with a white top, I didn't want any of the grommets. So those little holes that are cut off for power outlets that are great for other desks, not for photography. So that's limited my choices a lot. The next one was size. This is the 48 inch by 30 inch size. I wanted somewhere between 48 to 53 inches. This is 48, this is perfect for this room. The next one was the obvious one, which is stability. You can't have this thing shaking all over. If I lean on this and it shakes all over the place while I'm doing product reviews, it's gonna look really bad. So it had to have some stability. That drove me to the E5 three-part legs that they have on here. I heard they're more stable than the others. I do wish this was like the pro version that they have where the legs are opposite, where it's bigger on the bottom and smaller on the top, but they did not offer that in a white top, so I skipped that version. Then the last one was price. These things start fairly inexpensive. This, this one and a couple other brands out there have gotten their price points very good for the consumers. There was one other one that I was looking at, and I believe it was the Vert Desk, which has a stability crossbar that I pondered. It was gonna be a couple hundred dollars more, and I thought I'd try this one out because there is a 30-day trial period with this that you can return it, and it's sufficient for my needs. So I'm gonna stick with this one and save a little bit of money, but I'm sure those are solid desks as well. You're gonna see this desk a ton on videos going forward. If you like this video and wanna watch more just like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment below and let me know what you're looking for in a desk. This has been Paul with the Flexi Spot Rectangular Standing Desk. Thank you for watching.